Normally when you sideload an app for an Android TV, whenever you go to launch it, you'll have to go into settings, applications, and launch it from there. Or maybe you've gone out and installed something like Sideload Launcher here, which gives you a shortcut to all the, the applications that have been sideloaded to your Android TV box. Well today I'm going to be showing you how to make app banners for your official Android TV box. So instead of going through Sideload Launcher or settings, you'll be able to access it like any other official Android TV app. So let's get to it. Okay, so to get started here, I'm gonna go back into Sideload Launcher and I'm going to show you here, I have my real link app here. It's a siloed application for my security camera software. It wasn't built for Android TV. So I'm gonna be creating the banner for this. The first thing I'm going to do now is I'm gonna be going to settings down here because I'm gonna get the application name here. So if you go into settings and go into apps, and I will just look down here for my Rio Link app, and I'll just click it here. And you're going to wanna note here where it says version 2227, um, yours will be obviously different. You're gonna write down the name there. So in my case, it's com.mcu.reolink. Um, we're going to need that in order to create the application that will then create the shortcut for us to have the banner. So now I'm going to flip over to my computer where I'm going to show you a web page and we'll be filling in some information here. Now I'm back at my computer here and I've opened up a web browser and I've typed in the address that you see up above. I will drop that address down in the description below to make it nice and easy for you guys to click. Obviously once you get to the page here, pretty easy. Application name, you'll give it whatever you want. Um, in my case, I'm just going to call it Real Link because this is for the Real Link soft that I've installed. Over here where it says application name, this is going to be the name that you have taken from your Android TV box for the app that you're looking. So mine is, as I mentioned before, com.mcu.reallink. The app category, I will leave that as an application. And over here, the app logo, you'll want to go out and download the, app, the actual logo before you start this. I've already pre-downloaded mine, so I'm going to click on browse here. And I will choose the real link logo. And the app banner is going to be the banner that you will have on your Leanback launcher. So I will click browse here. And I will click the real link banner that I've created. And the last thing we need to do is click generate APK. And once this finishes generating, we're gonna download it, then we're gonna side load this APK as well. Okay, so here we see that it's been created. So with the application name that we've given it, the package name, which we have taken off the Android TV box, uh, the category, the logo, and the banner that we're gonna use on our uh, Leanback launcher screen. So just come up here, click download APK, and then we'll hit save here. Now that the download's completed, we're going to go back to our Android TV box and we're going to sideload this APK that we've just created. Now we're back at our Android TV box and we're going to go ahead and sideload this. I'm not going to go too in depth here with the sideloading because obviously if you're creating a banner icon, it's because you already know how to sideload. So I'm opening ES File Explorer and now I'm going to browse to the path where my APK has been saved. So now we can see the APK that I just downloaded, real link underscore ATV dot, dot APK. I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna go down to install and I'll hit install again. And now the app has been installed and you probably already noticed that the open option is grayed out because essentially you're creating a um, shortcut on your launcher here. So we'll just hit done. And now we'll go back to the main screen so here you can see now that the real link banner is available now and we're just going to click on it and see how it works. As you can see, it's launching absolutely fine. So I just want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like my videos, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.